My name is Jessica. I'm uh, here at Mohawk College in my second year of financial services. It's the second time I've been through college and hopefully the last. The career I've entered into is something that I truly believe in and think that I can grow in. Um, financial services and financial planning. Um, education for me is really important for actually finding a career that you, you're educated in what you're doing before you get there. So you're not just uh, dropped in the waters and see how well you can swim. Um, I found in the first time that I went to college that after two years of schooling it really wasn't for me. Um, and that education process saved a lot of time for the people that would have hired me as well as myself. The first time through was stepping out of the doors of high school and into the doors of college, so I really kind of needed two years to grow up. From 18 to 20, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it really was at the time. You get to be a little immature, you get to get out from under your parents' wing and see how well you do in your own era, but I found, and as I said, that career just really wasn't something I could have done for 40 years and then retired on a pension and felt good about it. So. I swam around a little bit, tried out a few different things, and then had someone kick me in the butt hard enough to go back to college. College has done an incredible job of keeping things very realistic based. Um, they, I feel they answer the question of how and how will I get a job and how will I maintain that job. And it's very based in the practical skills to get it done. Um, there does have to be a necessity for theory-based knowledge and the backup and the background and a little bit of history, and I think that's done incredibly well. Um, what sells college for me is the instructors, is the professional, passionate, driven individuals that want us to do well. Uh, connective skills, a lot of the skills for anything that's in the business program, and most colleges have a lot of business programs, from marketing to accounting, human resources, uh, overall general management, and financial services is very much a marketing job. It's very much a job where you have to be aware of who you are to the people around you. Um, so the scoff skills for me are the most important. The leadership and team building and networking and business relationships, and I find that Understanding that from a theory based in, in a classroom with a textbook in front of me is a completely different thing from actually going out and meeting, say, college executives, which is what I do here. Um, I liaise with all of the management in the student association as well as liaising with all the college management. And I think those soft skills are really what makes it. Uh, I started with I started with the, the knowledge that your parents typically give you. Find something that's practical. Find something that society can deal with and needs and something that is essential or necessary. And so my initial choice was Police Foundations, which is a very niche group and a very um, driven group of individuals who truly believe in what they do and what they have and where, they, where they're going. And I did, but there was no passion. Um, so I taught ballroom dance for six years in between. And I'm very proud of doing that because teaching people is, is really something that's, that's a fulfilling thing to do in a day. You wake up and you're excited to see your students. Um, I looked at, again, careers that were necessary to society because, as you can imagine, ballroom dancing isn't something that we do when we have no money, when we're in a big recession. So I looked at something that society needs and society wants and something that's good for everything that I can do well in and still have a life outside of work. Um, I started thinking about accounting and it wasn't quite my skill because I'm much more of a people person, I'm much more in the realm of individuals and discussions and networking and what I've already mentioned. So finance fit more for dealing with people, but as well as being something that's incredibly necessary. Without fail, I'd have to say try things. You have to try something to know whether or not you're good at it. I tried to be a police officer for two years. I worked at it, I was in school for it, I took notes on it and practiced at home and did everything that I could and it just didn't work and that's okay. But beyond trying things, you have to have the courage to make a change. There has to be courage to make things better, to make things you because you don't have a whole lot of time and you shouldn't do things that you don't want to do.
I've got a few things that I can go with it. For loves, it's I find almost every single executive or administrator that I've met in the college system believes in our youth and believes in what we do and believes in us being that bright future because if you didn't believe in that, what's the point of, of putting your life's work and your effort into it? And I love those people. Those people are what really truly makes the institution regardless of the name or, or what guise they go under. The thing that really gets me as a negative, as something that I've seen overall less than just or more than just one um, institution is the individuals that are here for a paycheck. And I don't, I won't make a comment as to whether or not it's full time or it's part time or whether they've been here for 30 years or only here for a year, but those individuals that don't come in wanting to give us their information and desiring to see us succeed are such a drain. They make things so long and monotone and dry and then the students feel disconnected. They don't feel like that maybe this really is something they could do for 50 years of their life. Um, so I really think the individuals that are coming in as our instructors, as our uh, sometimes there's people that give guidance or give counseling, they really should want to be here. 